In this one, we'll take our staircase surfaces and move them in Z direction. But before we do that, we need to split our surface, right? Split this circular surface. Surface split into smaller pieces. And if I put these curves in, what we realize is we are having... Okay, maybe I can prepare this bunch of as well. And we have these fragments. If I pull out the list item, this is zero, like maybe we can go really fast to, if they are in order, because sometimes splitting action might be problematic. So starting from zero, we go to all this. And everything looks fine, okay? If not, we need to use sort around a curve and stuff like that, but for now, this is good. The next thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to move this surfaces on Z direction, right? By using a series, because this is floor height and riser height is my important or important, like uh, important inputs. So if I pull out a number here, right click to it, wire display and hidden. Okay. Wire display and okay, wire display and hidden. And I'll be creating a series. So how many how many stairs we are having? Right? That is the first question. And he did that's here. So we are going to have 35. And starting from zero, we'll have this motion. So when I connect this here and connect this here, let's see what we are having. So we are having our circular staircase that is starting and going up, right? And if we go back and switch back to the parameters, you see increasing, decreasing, or increasing and decreasing, so and so forth. So basically we had the basic we we had the setup for this and of course if we increase this to i don't know eight meters it adds this but there is a problem with this one right so when we had the like when we had the uh like eight meters or let's say 12 meters or an egg as a as an egg as a sorry not 1200 12,000 you see it's it's losing its logic right because how you are going to climb this staircase even though it's 20 it's, it goes really high so what we need to do here is we need to come up with a strategy that takes this staircase and create sort of landings right and for that one we are going to work with we are going to do the landings in our next video so stay tuned with this one and you'll learn how to create landings in the next one